So I, if, uh, if I stay on the theme of Iowa and corn, I'll, I'll confess I was born in Iowa. Uh, I only lived there a year, though. I don't know if I can be called a true Iowan. But I did go back into tassel corn, which uh, was also related to our last topic. So for those of you that are here that want to hear about world-class maintenance practices from probably one of the best reliability engineers uh, in the world, uh, I'm going to disappoint you. Because um, that is actually not what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about a broader subject. So when I go through, this is a case study, really, for, for, for you. Uh, but when I go through this, you're really going to understand how to transform an organization. Uh, and in this case, it happens to be maintenance. That's the program that we ran. But we've done it for many different other items. I'm going to use maintenance, really, to try to explain, explain the process. So today's topics are, are the things that I'll cover today. Oops. I'm already using the back button. A um, little bit about Poly 1, because the other thing I don't think many of you know in this room is anything about Poly 1. The one thing that I can guarantee you within the last day, most likely, if not within the last five days, I can stake my life on it. You've touched, handled, or, or been part of Poly 1 and not known it. So I'm going to talk about Poly 1 a little bit. I'm actually going to spend a good deal of time talking about the Lean Six Sigma program at Poly 1. Uh, because that's really the basis for doing the process change for implementing the maintenance practices that I'm going to talk about at a high level and rolling out global programs. Um, and then I'm going to talk specifically about site implementation, so how we did that for all the multiple sites, and then impact and results. So if there's not results driven from a global program, it's hard to sell your executives on driving other ones. So Poly 1, a little bit about Poly 1. We're over 7,000 employees. We have 80 manufacturing and distribution facilities. So predominantly, it's manufacturing. So it's roughly 72, 73 manufacturing sites throughout the world. And I'll show you a world map in a second, because I really want you to appreciate the scale and magnitude of Poly 1 uh, when rolling out programs. Uh, we're in five continents. We have over 10,000 customers, 35,000 products, polymer solutions. We're a specialized formulator for polymers. Uh, we offer, um, we're right around $4 billion. Uh, what's interesting about that is about three years ago, four years ago, we were just over $2 billion. So we're growing quite rapidly, and that also has its challenges. Um, so when you talk about the, the, the global footprint, uh, take a look at this map as, a, 